this month, you may be finding yourself with a few extra subscription fees. Bear News reporter Emma Golub has the latest on this developing story. Hulu, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max. It seems like our entertainment experience has been completely taken over by streaming services. But one service is all the talk recently, Netflix. But it's not about the new shows or movies being released on the platform. Netflix is finally cracking down on password sharing. As one of the largest streaming services, Netflix has over 200 million subscribers as of 2022. But the number of users is likely much higher because of password sharing. Since its creation in 2009, Netflix has grown to a worth of over $161 billion. The platform has various contracts with production studios to stream content and produces original shows and movies, some of which are critically acclaimed. Well, all the shows I watch on Netflix got canceled recently, but I've been watching Lockwood & Co. Um, we just finished watching like, the HTO, HTO movie on Netflix. Oh, and like, right now, I'm watching the video In Canada, Portugal, New Zealand, and Spain, the company announced their plan for limiting shared accounts and put it into effect on Wednesday. They are offering additional profiles for an extra cost at standard and premium subscription levels. But it's not as simple as just wanting to save a buck. Many college students rely on sharing accounts with their friends and families because they can't afford it on their own. That's not a good idea because like <laughs> people who have kids in college, you know, they're only there for nine months out of the year, not the whole entire year. So I feel like it's really unfair. You know, like they're kind of scamming me. If you're paying for the account, why does it matter if you're sharing it? You know, also, I, what if I want to watch Netflix at a friend's house, and then they're like, nope, it has to be at your home. When the plan for limiting password sharing was leaked last week, the reaction on social media was overwhelmingly negative, with some users reposting an old tweet from the Netflix account, seemingly encouraging password sharing. Even with this controversy, Netflix remains at the top of the streaming service game. But will ending password sharing actually increase their profits, or could it create more trouble than it's worth? Only time will tell. With Bear News, I'm Emma Golub.